And new this morning, an Indianapolis woman is providing a glimmer of hope for people seeking refuge. They are specifically helping Afghan refugees who arrived after the U.S. military withdrawal from their home country. News 8's Amisha Ramsey met with a family that now calls Indiana home and the woman helping families like them, Amisha. That's right. I sat down with Holly Lowe's inside the refugee home she and her family secure to provide shelter. She opened up about the dot bonds they formed. Holly Lowe's is on a personal mission that's going beyond affiliations with organizations to ensure the well-being of Afghan families who face many challenges post-U.S. withdrawal. Some people are still in Afghanistan. Some have escaped out to other countries, are still in danger in those countries. Men are separated from their wives and children for over two years. Um, just the amount of struggles that these families have been through is unbelievable. Paperwork hurdles and uncertain paths mark Holly's journey. We just continued to run into roadblock after roadblock. But she's resilient, filing 51 applications over two years with a pro bono law firm. And then it was very quiet for a long time, just until a few months ago. And so we started losing hope that we would ever actually get them here to the United States. First step is to go to the embassy and have a medical exam and to get that approved. And then after that, they go back to the embassy and they have a very thorough interview there. And they go through and they screen them once again to make sure that they are totally safe to be here. Holly's first family arrived to Indianapolis in November. It was really a miracle to have this family finally get here. And we have other families that are in the pipeline and we hope to get them here soon. Holly's now calling on the community for support, urging donations to Shepherd Community to help these families navigate their new lives. Everything from their weekly groceries to their um, apartment rental and utilities, to their cell phones, uh, to internet, um, driving, any, any of those things are all out of pocket. Now let me introduce you to Ahmed, a former student of Holly. You connected with Holly during the collapse of the Afghani government. What was that like? So I was really hopeless. They first met in 2005 when Holly was in Afghanistan teaching English. They kept in touch over the years, and Holly was concerned for his safety in August 2021. Holly messaged me that uh, she heard about the collapse and the houses were destroyed, they were bombarded, and the people were executed. They were in hiding and they needed help. Um, how could I say anything but, yes, I'll help. When someone is in need, you help them. And so over the last two and a half years, we have become like family. Their family and my family are forever intertwined now. We spoke on Zoom, his identity kept anonymous for safety reasons, translating for Muhammad, their cousins, and have faced unimaginable loss under the collapsed government. How did he feel when he arrived to the U.S.? And what was his first impression after the collapse of Afghanistan, going through that journey, facing the complexities, and then finally being here. I experienced a lot of challenges. My son and father died during the government collapse. I have very bad memories. But now we are here, and I, my wife, and children are safe. Holly's help saved our lives. What are his expectations and hopes for the future? My kids can get an education. I hope to receive a job permit to become independent of my family to live a good life. Now, as we enter a new year, Holly remains committed. She is gearing up to relocate more of family members seeking refuge in Indianapolis. Some are in Pakistan waiting for U.S. approval, while others are still in Afghanistan. If you would like to join her cause, you can go to wishtv.com on the As Seen tab for this story. I'm Amisha Ramsey for wishtv, wishtv.com, and like us on Facebook.